Could you comment on your perspective on George Lucas, please? Oh, George Lucas. Oh, thank you. All right, yes. Now, in the process of, uh, when I was planning this book, George Lucas was never part of it uh, at all. I had planned to end glittering images with some, some, some examples of strong contemporary art. Okay, so I was looking and I was looking, and I found interesting things, but nothing strong enough, nothing that could hold up to the many masterpieces you know, that precede you know, the, the, the final chapter. Uh, and, and, and while I was, I would like be you know, re relaxing at night, I would be channel surfing, and I kept on stumbling on, on the Star Wars films being run back to back on Spike TV, okay, which is a man's channel. Okay, all right, and um, and and coming into the films in that way, you know, coming into them randomly in the middle, okay, without the narrative, you know, propulsion, suddenly made me start to see the the, the visual components, okay, and um, and Lucas's visual virtuosity, okay. I became progressively obsessed with the finale to Revenge of the Sith, which is the last film, it was released in 2005, is the last film that was made in the Star Wars series. It was directed by Lucas himself. It, it narratively belongs to the midway you know, in, in, in the story. And I'm telling you, this finale, it's unbelievable. It's, it takes place on the volca volcano planet of Mustafar. And the uh, which is completely you know made up uh, you know, planet and the this 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 episode is a combination of of live action okay of um, uh, you know of, of of computer animation okay and also of um of, you know of um, model making there's a tremendous model was made a miniature model of the um, uh, of the you know the landscape of this volcano planet. And, the, and, and what I was researching, I was just amazed by what they, it took them like 10 months you know, to, to make this model and then raise it up on a giant platform to tip it, pump system to have the lava flowing, smoke and cork and all kinds you know, kind of, I'm, th I'm saying this is a work of installation art. The actual model that was used is itself you know, belongs you know, uh, to be respected for its place in the, in the arts. But the actual finale, okay, uh, how tepid contemporary art seems compared to the passionate quality of this finale with this huge musical score that, that, was, that was recorded at the Abbey Road studio you know, in, in London. I say it's like a black mass okay, and so on. And you're getting this, this, this tremendous duel that's like dance theater, the longest duel ever filmed okay, is this duel. And it, it is no computer speeding up. Okay? These two actors Actors, okay, uh, uh, Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor you did that, and for months they learned the sword play. It's absolutely phenomenal. It is dan it is dance. This is contemporary dance. All right, and okay, so you get this music and the, and the, the passionate emotion, the two love hate between these two men. Okay, and the whole thing's like a Puccini opera. Okay, going back and they're on the and so on. All right, and then um, it, so you have this like huge, like it's like romantic nature painting, apocalyptic landscape of the lava. All right, and then. And you and you get this this theme that the cross cut Lucas cross cuts. There's a, a destruction of the Senate chamber going on on the planet of Coruscant. Okay, so you get this theme of the destruction of politics going on at the same moment, and you have the destruction of industry going on because as as these two guys are wrestling around, they like th throw off the whole con control panels. Okay, and the whole industrial complex of the of the planet of Mustafar starts degenerating. You go, woo! You get these girders. In the lava, like this. All right, and then, okay, the revelation after 30 years. How did Darth Vader get born? Who is Darth Vader? How did he end up to be Robot Man? How did that happen? Okay, there it is. We, we see the handsome, okay, Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker. Okay, getting like mute. He loses his arms and his legs. Then he catches on fire from the volcano. He incinerates all these horrors and so on. And then, then finally, his, his broken body is taken. It's surgical droids putting him together. Okay, it's like a Frankenstein monster thing. Cross-cutting to Natalie Portman dying in childbirth. Okay, all right. Okay. It's fine. Luke and Leia, whom we met, we met them. She, they're born. Luke, Leia. Okay, she's, she's, they're born. Okay, and so on. And then, after all these horrors, okay, incredible control, unbelievable control of tone. All right. 
I, the, the, the Luke and Leia are separated because no one knows they exist, okay? To separate them. And they're taken to distant planets. And one is a beautiful planet based on Switzerland, okay? With, with like, mount, with, it, it, and it is footage of Switzerland with like mountains and valleys, you know? And the other one is a, is a desert planet, planet with Tatooine with, with its double suns and so on. And so you get this amazing thing strong men arriving with baby. Baby handed off to other strong men. Strong man sitting with wife, okay, against l great landscape, okay. It is so beautiful, okay. So, and you know, Lucas himself, um, you know, after his divorce, retired for two years to raise his adopted children, okay. So it's like an incredible personal reference there. I think that, is, first of all, that, that is extremely progressive, okay, to end with this, with this idea of its tenderness of men, okay, toward babies, okay, not just children, but toward babies. And it was so absolutely gorgeous. I was like, my God, okay, nothing has been produced, I'm serious, nothing in the last 30 years in any of the arts okay, has been produced as emotionally compelling and significant as the finale of Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> <All right. So laughs>